Yes, I'm Chris Roberts. I'm running for Senate District 10. One of the big reasons that I'm running for State Senate is I feel that I'm the most qualified individual. With 21 years in the Marine Corps, 13 years on the school board, eight years on the city council, and 12 years up at Concord. I know some would think I'm stupid, but I'm publicly serious um, minded. And like I says, I think I'm the most experienced um, individual and can be the most effective up in Concord. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two of the things I'm really worried about is people are talking about how we can um, handle the drug problem. Well, you shouldn't be trying to solve the problem, you should be trying to prevent the problem. So that's health and human services. We have to improve the quality of um, life of our citizens in the District 10. If you have a quality of life and you're enjoying what you do and you have hope for a better future, you don't take drugs, or even the vast majority don't take drugs. So my thing is I'm going to look for things like mental health, regular type treatment, quality of life, homes, safe homes, things like that that make the individuals feel safe and feel like they have a future. The second thing that I'm going to do which might be cause a little um, disconcerned among a number of people Keene has a bad reputation. This part of New Hampshire has a bad reputation that it's not welcomed to educated women and people of color. It was like the mayor said, <clears throat> you know what, every place you go, all the leadership is made up of middle class white men who are um, financially well off. Well, there's a lot of women <clears throat> and there's a lot of people of color in New Hampshire middle class, well educated, that can come into our area, start small businesses, 15, 20 um, individuals, well paying, buy the houses we have on the market. There's almost 500 houses on the market just in the Keene area. And when you go look at Senate 10, there's about seven to 800 on the market and a significant number are in foreclosure. Concord, New Hampshire, I mean Concord, Manchester, Nashua, and Portsmouth have understood the importance of having a fertile ground for, um, for women and um, people of color. And so they are growing and we need to take some of those resources. We need to take those human resources and bring them here. Overall, this area is well welcoming to people of all nationalities, religions, and colors but we need people in, in leadership. The majority of people in Keene are female, well-educated female. We have Hannah Grimes that's helping him stop businesses. We need something bigger than Hammer Grimes or even a bigger Hammer Grimes so we can create more small businesses in Keene. Keene is never gonna have a big, biz big business come in because of its tax structure. But we have Winchester and we have Hinsdale and we have Swansea. There are places that we can do. People love our area. Our area has so much to offer, but we have to change the, con <clears throat> change the fact that people think we're not welcome. If I'm elected to the Senate, I am personally going to go out and say and try to sell our, our area. I would go to business and say, come to District 10, you're more than welcome here. And I think that's the critical part. We have to go out and welcome individuals. King, Cheshire County is a very progressive um, area and people just don't seem to understand. I went to St. A's, they don't understand how our area got this misconception that we are not welcome to f f educated females and people of color. They all would add to the robust of our area. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm there to show this is the place to come, this is the place to work, and this is the place to live. I hope you would vote for me, thank you.